Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Today we are going to be painting the Canoptic Reanimator for our Necron army. Now I have some ideas about like colors and stuff like that and we're going to kind of get into it here. But as we as we just kind of go and in, jump into it. So for the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to do a actually no I'm going to do a dry brush of gray on the part that are going to be black. So that's going to be this medium sea gray. We're just gonna put some down here, get it on our brush, wipe most of it off, or a good portion at least. And this is gonna be like kind of a base coat for the next step for these, because I'm trying to figure out how to make my vehicles look and not make them completely just black. Um, so I'm trying to just play around a little bit with some of the colors here and yeah my camera setup's not really set up for big models so it's gonna be interesting but yeah so we're just gonna dry brush this guy up so we can see everything all nice and coated side there too even though you know we're gonna spray that with the airbrush okay so now we're gonna take this color this sick green it's a really dark green and I that's why I painted the brown I mean the, um, the gray first because I don't think it would show up over black as well so we're just gonna put some down here and we're gonna dry brush this over that that gray area um, what I'm hoping for is it gives us kind of like a glow, like a glowy edge, like in the box art for a lot of this stuff. So we're, cause we're just trying to find out like a quick, uh, easy way to get that done for us. So yeah, and it looks like it's doing kind of what I wanted it to do. I don't know how well you can see it in there, but you see there's like a little green tint now to the gray that we had. And that's just gonna be better overall, I think, for our black colors, just to help pop those out a little bit more and make them look more like, more than just black, you know? I still think for the guns of our warriors and stuff, those are still gonna be black with a gray dry, dry brush, but for vehicles of bodies and stuff, we're gonna do something like this. Um, just to help it help it along okay so that's that so it's like burning hair is anything on fire I don't think so it's either that or I'm having a stroke so <laughs> Okay, so now let's get our next dry brush step for the gunmetal for most of pretty much everything. And we'll get our regular dry brush for this. And probably use a bigger brush. Get that wiped off. It's a heavy dry brush, so you don't have to do too crazy of a job here. And we're just going to start kind of going over the metal parts. And yeah, like I said on some of the other models, that these guys are kind of spindly, right? So dry brushing is a little, can be a little dangerous in some of these areas. But we just kind of have to push through and hope for the best for a lot of the cases here because this is the path that we chose it's kind of like we made our bed we have to lie in it kind of saying right so we're just using a light touch to go over all our metallic pieces here We 
make sure we're getting all the way down on the legs here. There's a lot of the terrain. That's what that's another thing I like about this Adominus box is that none of the bases are just plain bases. Even like I think the some of the warriors that we have have stuff on their bases already. So it's gonna be it's gonna let, add a little bit more visual interest to our army than just bases with stuff on them, how like we normally would do. There's always something new with, always try something new with your new armies and this one we're trying airbrushing and some more edge highlights and stuff like that and a lot of dry brush. So it's like all my armies look different. They all have like a different vibe to them because I've tried something different with each one. And it's cool and it's cool also too to like, you can always go back and fix it, but to have like a, a timeline of models that you've worked on and that you can kind of see a progression of of what you've been doing and what you've been working on like i always say like you the good thing about this hobby the cool thing about this hobby is that you always have something to show for it you know versus watching tv all day or which don't get me wrong like i'll do that too but you know you have stuff to show at the end of the day for what you did and that's cool it's not just like a a nothing hobby. This is a little tricky in these areas. I just gotta get these guys too. Although I think these guys might have to. I was gonna do the red on this guy, but I might not just because of how the stuff is. I don't think having red on this would be is cool it might just be too overpowering for how big the model is i mean and it's and it's not even that big compared to other models but we'll see so there we have our first dry brush of the of the model Got nice coating over everywhere. You can still see the dark spots and the light spots, which is what we want, right? We want that contrasting going in there because it's doing a lot of work for us. <coughs> now let's take some silver and do the same, repeat the same step, just lighter. So we'll just put some silver down. And do the same thing again, just like I said, lighter, not as heavy. And just maybe in some areas, so just kind of, kind of just lightly over it. It's going to be a little. It's just going to add some brightness to the edges, especially like of these like big old blade pieces, right? We want we want some contrast there. We want some pop. more just for the top up here and the top of these little spines and okay so that's it for the dry brushing of this the I would say skin but you know you know what I mean that smell <laughs> okay now let's get our brassy brass color and we'll get that in there for all the hoses and tubes and not all of them but some of them just to add more color variation to our model we don't want it to just be one color the whole time so usually like these hoses here I like to get because they are a lot brighter. Um, we can probably get this part too, just the part that goes to the head. Just as a little adding brightness to the top of the model just to bring our eye up a little bit higher so that people, you know, naturally start to look 
high on the model towards its face, which is what we want, because that's where we want to pull visual interest to. And we'll kind of just get a little bit on here, kind of haphazard, just kind of like a rusty dry brush kind of deal over those. I like to do that for my leaders and for my vehicles. The warriors do not have the the grace of the gold on them yet. They haven't earned it. And then we want to get these like little guys there. Same thing here. Then we can pick out some more areas. Here and there. Okay. Mm. Let's get some the underside here of that one. Same thing, just getting the, the other side. So if you see through, it's not as showy there. Do some dry brush in there. Okay. Clean off our brush. And then we're going to go to almost forgot this step actually um how's this brush looking still a little wet let's give it some time uh we need our gray which is i think is still on here yeah it's still on here it's still looking pretty fresh and we're gonna do the dry brush on the face as well because our faces are white so we do the gray to the white um kind of dry brush on it here That's gonna preserve our recesses and all that. Usually on bigger models like this too, if you're doing a lot of handling with your hands, I would recommend wearing gloves um, if you're gonna have to touch the model. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, just so that your oils on your skin don't take the paint off. Cause it's just, you know, a good way to keep everything nice and neat. So now we put some white on our palette. And we're going to just do kind of a heavier dry brush of the white into the face. And do the top here too, just because that's where like more light would be and then if we want to we can start kind of hitting these parts because they are going to be need to be airbrush so white is giving us a better kind of base for that Maybe I'll put red up here. So let's kind of, cause these are like the shoulder pads of them, you know, cause they're on the legs. So and my shoulder pads are the ones that are red. So let's just get the white on here so that we can do the contrast paints. Okay. Now we can get our Blood Angels contrast paint. And then just get these guys. Just get these all nice and red. That's a good thing too with working with these light colors too is that you know even if I didn't get the white on there it still goes over the metallic and it's fine so let's get
去。All of those nice and coated there. There we go. Also, good luck finding these right now. These things are freaking hard to get. People are scalping for them on the internet. I had to buy them from scalpers. Which sucks. Thanks. You know they're cheap. You know they're like not that expensive, but these scalpers, man. They got it. Super expensive. Okay, so let's get some white now. Oh, we still have the white on the thing. We don't need to get that. And then we're gonna do what we do here and just get inside our little vents here. It can, it can be messy, it's okay. Like, we're not, it's gonna, like the light's gonna be pouring out of it. Okay. Now we can get our Escorpina green, which is our big color here. And we're gonna use it for some of these hoses as well. Just to help bring out some color and add more variety here. Definitely probably this cord would be feeding this energy into our guy. As well as these little guys right here probably. So just and you notice I'm only getting one side of these. I know that there's the, the other side but to see that you'd have to look really hard on the model so we're not gonna push into there okay I think okay let's just clean that off really quick then we'll get our scarlet paint for just the red highlights really quick. And then we'll get into our wash and then to our airbrush. So just get these edges here, just the outside edges. those would probably get them those are getting the most light I mean you could edge, edge highlight the whole thing if you want like it's fine no one's gonna say why did you edge highlight that or not you know it's just it's extra it's all extra steps it's all extra Now we can get our wash on. That is our Ag Agrax Earth Shade. That's gonna go all over the metallics to just add that weathered uh, sleeping robot look to everything. So just work one side at a time here so you don't forget anything. And also right here get the other side of the Ooh, almost knocked over that whole thing. The other side of the leg here. Just 
be careful. Don't dump it, right? We don't want to dump it on the model. I'm just dabbing off my brush to get less up here. I'll grab this neck here. Just get the wash on, move it around as you go through it. These arms here. And that's good there. And then we get the top here. Get the other side of this. Okay. And now we can go to our airbrush, which is going to get our green on the rest of those white spots. So let's get our thinner and our little mixy cup here. Do a little. Put a bit of paint in there. And then a little bit of thinner. And then we just give it a stir. With the hardest brush known to mankind. I didn't know this brush was this hard. go to a different brush. Um, this one has is at least soft so you can get all the paint off there. Okay. And then we get our airbrush right here. Pour the paint in. Oops. Guy out of the way really quick. Oops, I didn't need to grab that part, but whatever. Test our spray, just make sure it's coming out. And then we start. So we'll get his eyeball. And then start getting these like orby orbs. You know the ones in here too. And I shoot away from it first just to, in case there's any paint stuck in the, the thing before I spray it because I don't want it to just shoot like a bunch of un, like super thin paint all over this model. Pops here. Like that. Just want to add some glow to that. And that's it. And that is how we paint our Canoptic Reanimator. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.